guys, Kitty Cat Lipper here today, and today we are doing another episode of Spawn Location, this time on Extinction. So we are going to go and check out all the different spawn locations on Extinction. Now we got to be quick with this one, because there are 16 spawn locations on this one. 16! Are you kidding me? Like, how many do we need? So we started off on the very first one. Um, easy, which brings us to the sanctuary here um, on Extinction. And that dodo looks like he's glowing. Look at him. He's just pink in the light, but whatever. He looked like he was glowing. That was cool. So we started on the first spawn location on um, Extinction here. And we are going to see um, if we can find a place that's safe um, relatively quickly and, and or get killed. Oh, look at that guy. That's an enforcer, right? I don't think they hurt you unless you hurt them first. So we're okay there. This looks like pretty easy. Um, I have played on the extension map before and have built in, built in the sanctuary area. And I always find that it's like, it's safe. Like, I don't think there's a problem, but we'll check it out. So let's go have a wander around. Um, and I just want to say thanks to all my new subscribers. And if you are new to this channel, feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoy what I am providing you today. Um, and yeah, there's my little plug there. Hmm. Anyway, so let's go have a look around. Um, the, a lot of the spawn locations um, on this uh, map are pretty clumped together. Like you don't get to go into the, uh, I don't even know where I am. Let's have a look. Into the deserted area or the wastelands, should I say, which should be that way ish. Actually, it should be all around us. So let's go have a look around. So, as you can see, um, this would probably be a really good spot to start because look, there's nothing really dangerous. Um, there isn't much that's going to kill us. There's lots of resources. Ooh, um, we could get ourselves some inky right off the bat. Um, so I would put this in our good books and like, there's not too much danger here, like at all. And we're already running out of water anyway, but there's water. So, um, if you didn't see that over there, lots of water somewhere. Now I can't find it. Look right here, some water. Dun dun dun. And we're saved. So first area good now I'm gonna go punch this guy and we'll go on to the next spot damn oh, is he gonna do anything <laughs> okay so as you can see we were in sanctuary Sec central which was recommended the next one we're gonna go to is sanctuary east again recommended a little further away from our first spawn spot so let's go check it out okay so we're hot it's happy a hair running looks okay like it looks fine lots of resources sure is that the guy that killed us before not sure what, are, what is the parasaur running from oh, that guy he attack us on Q. I i don't even know oh my gosh okay let's see i don't want to be nosy we'll, we'll go in the vicinity see if he starts attacking us or if he's just gonna you know leave us alone like, I'm pretty sure all these guys kind of just leave you alone unless you actually hit them, don't they? Hey! You're like a little ball. Oh, you're stuck on the dodo. <laughs> That's hilarious. So some things about this map. Um, first off, it's the least of my worries because all the areas seem pretty decent, so I'm actually not very scared. But yeah, like, there's five different di bi biomes. Um, so you have some that we've seen before. So this is the sanctuary, which we haven't seen before, but it's like a little city and a broken down city. Um, you have the sunken forest, which we haven't seen before. Desert, snow, um, of course we've seen before and the wastelands. So those are going to be our biomes that we're going to be adventuring into minus the wasteland because we don't have any spawn spots in that. Again, another area that looks pretty decent. So I wonder if we go, if we 
you punch one guy if all the other guys are going to attack us. Let's try it out. Oh, he's dead already. <laughs> oh my gosh. I killed him. No, I'm kidding. I didn't. Oh, leave that monster up alone, sir. Leave him alone. Get out of here. Leave him alone. Is he gonna attack me or is he just gonna... Oh, yeah, he's gonna attack me. All right, I'll fight you. Fight. Go, sir. Oh my gosh. Am I winning? <laughs> Oh my gosh, this would be hilarious! Oh, I'm gonna die, but who's gonna win first? Do it, do it! Oh, I lost. What do you expect? Okay, so we have Sanctuary Southeast, which is next. So let's go spawn over there. I have a feeling all these areas are gonna be pretty similar. Oh, what is that? You guys hear that? So this is one of the environmental impacts in this game. Um, I'm pretty sure those are going to be meteors, but I'm pretty sure they don't hit the city. So I think we'll be okay. So have a wander around. So we were talking about the biomes, the wastelands. The disclaimer for that area is that you have to be careful because you need a lot of water to go in there. You're like automatically heat, full of heat and you drain your water. And um, it's actually a pretty scary place if you just go out without a tame or something. So be weary of that. Where are you? Hello. So just be wary if you're, if you're going to go and venture out into the wastelands. Um, there's tons of element out there. There's tons of element here too, I'm pretty sure, in this city. Um, and the car creatures are corrupted by the element. So that's kind of like what follows the storyline is that the creatures are corrupted um, because they've been exposed to the element too much and their brains are just like dino brains 10 times worse now. And they you can't tame them, which really kind of sucks because they're pretty cool co colors. I would love to live by this waterfall. Uh, maybe not. There's some crystal over there and some gems, though. Look at that. Are you guys gonna beat on me because I beat your friend? No. Um, one thing I'd like to mention too. Now, this might not happen for everyone, and maybe it's just an issue I have. But my PS4 and PC. I'm playing on PC right now, but I play on PS4 as well. I find ex the extinction map to be super laggy, so make sure you have your settings just right so then, you know, you can still get a good uh, frame rate and not crash when on this map. Maybe there's just like a lot of feet, and that's why, but I do find this one. Well, that looks so creepy. Well, I do find this one to be okay on the lake side. Like, look at all these places are super... Oh, what is that? Is that what I think it is? Sleepy head. Or am I wrong? I can't get up there. I want to see the sleepy head. Sleepy head. Time to get up now. I know I'm out of stamp, but I just want to have a look. Oh, he's a sleepy. Oh my. Okay, maybe not building here is the greatest idea. Oh, they're so cute though. Okay, well, minus that, I'm sure you could survive. This place doesn't look so bad. I'm going to go get myself killed. I'll leave the sleepy fits. I'll go get killed over here. And I'll bring you guys back. So the next one we're going to go to is Sanctuary Belt. So let's go have a look. Right? Um, and then we might be getting into some of more dangerous area that looks like this is the last recommended notice how they don't put easy or hard beside them on this one just recommend it don't go anywhere else we just recommend here so let's have a look here and bro there's some really cool building areas in this map as well especially in the city so 
just be careful because there are layers to this. So you could be on top of something or below something and you could get lost super easily. So I do um, warn you to keep that in mind. Here. Yeah, the most dangerous thing I've seen so far. What are you going to do? The inkies? Um, most dangerous thing that we've seen so far is the Dilo and then the Megalosaurus is in the back. They were sleeping. I've never actually had an issue with them at night, but that a little bit makes sense. And of course, there was a Megalania just around the corner. We'll have a look. This is just so beautiful. All the maps are beautiful. Like, every map has, like, something special. Whoa. I've never seen that before. Look at that. That's so cool. Sorry, sidetrack. What was I saying? I don't even remember. It's fine. Ah, this map is just so beautiful. And I can't even handle it. You do get really thirsty really quick on this map. Um, what are some cool places that you guys have built on the ancient map? I would love... Oh, oh that was crazy. I would love to know um, if you guys have any other places that you like to build um, in the city, city um, or any of the other biomes. Um, I did have a couple bases here. Um, it, was like, it was kind of like in a little dome area um, and the out, outer side of the city. Um, and I built it up against the wall like with a cool waterfall. It was actually pretty neat. Like you can do some crazy builds. And, yeah, so this looks pretty decent too. Like water, sh there's should be easy accessible water down here we must be on top of something we're on the top level it looks like the so finding water shouldn't be an issue no animals have really tried to kill us running out of stam so like most of the sanctuary areas are going to be pretty easy um i'm a little more worried or maybe one that i'm probably more worried about snow we're gonna die freezing first off and then maybe the desert those are the ones i'm most worried about, but that's about it so i'm gonna bring you guys back when we are ready for the next spawn area all righty now we're gonna get into some maybe dangerous areas this one doesn't say it's recommended so let's check this one out sanctuary flex on at random location. It just paired on Enforcer, Ego. Written that up for you guys just a little bit. Getting nighttime ish. And this one's not so bad. Always, if you are looking for water, I always suggest just um, on this map, if you are in the city. Um, heading kind of towards the middle, but you should find some stuff some water on the sides um, Or like those little fountains and stuff or the little waterfalls can be a big problem Now some other things about this map Who's gonna win? I call Stego um, Some other things about this map that um, is pretty cool is when you're in the wasteland I like that there's like these mini games that you can play now you do have to have some really good dinosaurs for it but yeah so there there's um something called the orbital supply drops and the um element nodes which you go into like the wasteland and then you kind of like i think you go in the area you hit the um the orbital supp supply drop they have to be so there will be like a sound close by and um then all the corrupted creatures come after you and you have to protect it to get all the cool stuff in the supply drop. And the same for the element nodes. You have to protect all these element nodes in order to um, get all the element in these element nodes. I think it's really cool and it's really creative. And it's a fun way like, hey, I'm bored. I want to go do something. And you know you got a bunch of T-Rexes or something. I usually bring flyers, but whatever floats your boat. Um, and you can like totally just like go and like fight all these animals and get all this cool loot. It's really fun. And I really, really like that about this map. And it's 
like so creative because it's like a little mini game before we had Genesis, of course, that you could go do something if you were just kind of bored of the regular grind, you know? So that's something super cool about this. Say it's super easy to look for water, but I can't find any myself. This looks like a really good area that you could build. Like there's not much around. If you don't pee off those guys, then you should be okay. Look, found a little water, good to go. So this is in my good books too. So this wasn't as crazy as I thought it would be. So I'm just gonna get myself killed and we'll be back. Alrighty, so the next one we're gonna go to is the Sunken Forest Central. So we're going into a new area. This is a new biome. Uh, let's go see exactly what it has to offer. Is it dangerous? Is it easy? What is in the Sunken Forest? Dun dun dun. So far, so good hear anything. Diplo, some parasaurs. Just some gems. Now this biome is fantastic. Like, oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. I just can't get over it. So if you don't can't tell, you're kind of underneath the world now. You're in the forest underneath it. Hence the sunken forest name. So this is like Oh, it's just so beautiful magical it gives you some aberration vibes but also foresty beauty beautiful vibes like oh i just love it you have tons of water here you don't even have to worry about the water it's just so big and beautiful this is great for materials if you need to build oh never mind i'm not dying to a duo like look at all this flat land like this would be a perfect spot to build right off the bat perfect spot he's coming after me oh look at gacha gotta go say hi to the gacha these guys are new animals i'll tell you guys a little bit about a little bit here these guys are awesome super fantastic addition to them. little OP if you ask me but i'm not gonna complain so yeah i'm gonna you know come to these bugs and bring it back <laughs> we are now spawned in sunken forest east so you guys thought i'd give you guys a different kind of view spawning in all the time so we're right beside the water which is perfect we have resources ish rocks fish if we needed to get some meat so another couple things about the map here, um, there are no supply crates or loot crates. So instead of getting um, any loot from those, you would of course get them from either the gacha crystals, um, which are those animals that I just told you about. What is, oh, that's a car knowing. Gacha crystals or the loot drops that, um, or not loot drops, sorry. The orbital drops, that's where you can get some really cool um, loot from it kind of makes sense to me um, and it makes it harder to go get some loot but of course if you go get yourself some of those guys then you'll be fine so that's I think kind of neat and a little bit of a, like a challenge addition to the game which I think is awesome and there are three different caves on this map so you have the desert the forest and the ice cave um, and all four bosses there's four bosses and these this is the first map that bosses are tameable so that's really cool and of course they're the desert forest ice and king titans are called so there's a cave in here that you were in the sunken forest you would summon the uh forest titan and then you would be able to tame him zombies no so i think we like this is a nice little spot you got some beavers that really quick killed the carnal um, you have some water. Now we have some extra resources. So I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna go to the next one. Why not? We are now gonna go to Sunken Forest West. So we were at Forest Sunken Forest East there. Now we're gonna go to Sunken Forest West. See where that takes us. This map, like I said, I'm not too worried about this map. Maybe the snow. Um, other than that, every other place should be pretty good. This. like you oh my gosh you could just like build this like not 
huge but a pretty decent sized little house and you got some water here you would, you would just have to find trees which clearly are in the water the water is dangerous or even piranhas that's murky is too but that's salmon like i want to say like on, or you could build on that pretty river right beside it or oh my gosh right beside the waterfall like all these places are just so magical or like you could kind of like build under the blue area now, some animals that you do have to watch out for, of course, you saw Carno, um, the Delos, there's raptors down here. I've seen raptors before. So, I'm not saying it's perfect down here, but this place is like, if you've already made it through all the arcs, this place is nothing. If you guys have like any cool build ideas, let me know. I love all the different types of builds that people come up with. I can't build worse crap. Like, I like to say that my, my builds are really beautiful and they're great, but that's just in my eyes. I get super proud of all the builds I make, which you should always be proud of everything you make. Sometimes I try to follow some videos. I shouldn't have gone across this water. Sometimes I try to follow some videos, but um, I can't even follow those properly. And it just looks like if I'm trying to make a circle, it looks like a zigzaggy something. But it's fun. As long as you're having fun, that's all that matters. And always be proud of what you do because... You did it and it is a success so why not be proud so well, i'm gonna go and we're gonna go to the next spawn spot so i'll be right back we are on the sunken forest upper so we're i think we're on the top of the sunken forest and the upper part right see how this isn't the greatest because you don't really have any Got a couple trees, a couple rocks. How do you get down? I don't even think. Is there a way down without a flood? I don't even know. Like, what is this? What would you do over here? Another way? All the like sides. Oh, you would fall to your death. Water that I see. Oh, okay, you go down this way. Okay, okay. I was just like, well, what are you gonna do? We just stuck on that part for the rest of your life, like, or fall to your death and respawn in another spot? Look at this. Like, honestly, like all these places are fantastic to spawn. Like, minimal threats. If you're even starting off fresh, it's not very dangerous per se now we're not here at night so maybe there's some megalosaurus or something but nothing's eaten our face unless we punched it so really what do we expect like this would be a perfect spot right here little waterfalls this is gorgeous i can't even there's no, no, not even animals around. Like, what am I? guess you can't really tame anything if you're starting off fresh. Though. But, whatever. Do we see bears in the forest? So, like, if you were here, how would you get back all the way up? I'm sure there's a way. I've only flown down. Right, well, this would be a perfect spot. Minus maybe finding some meat food so i'm gonna bring you guys back i think this is good all right one more in the sunken forest this is sunken forest lower so we must be on the very bottom so let's see if there's anything that changes really come on art i was expecting a little bit of action just a little bit and the maps get harder as we progress Hey buddy. Well, while we're here, maybe I can tell you so about some of the new creatures on this map. <laughs> so you have some enforcers. You do have the Gacha, um, Gasbakes, Mana, um, which is super popular, and I can't can't pronounce its whole name. The Scout, 
Snow Owl, which is my personal favorite, the Volanosaur, and the Corrupted Creatures, and of course the bosses. Again, it's a wonderful place to uh, spawn. Now, the gachas are super cool because you feed them like everything. They'll eat everything and you can tame them. And then they poop out or no, they like, it doesn't, they don't poop. It comes off their back. Those crystals on their backs there will come off and there's like things filled with them. So there's, they specialize in certain um, materials or resources and sometimes they'll give you really cool loot. So they're awesome. And I used to have a farm of them and they Plastic and I really miss them. They're kind of picky though because they don't like to be around each other except for like one female, one male. Let's see if we can get one to pop a crystal. I don't know. Do they do the crystals drop when they're in the wild? I think I see some. This one looks like. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Fuck! I was just trying to have a peaceful time and see what a gacha crystal would give us, but we ran out of time. Oh well. Now we're going to, going to go into the desert. See what it has in store for us. Okay, so it's kind of nighttime, isn't it? We were just in the middle of the forest, so. Uh, what? We have it on camera, of course. No, 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 gonna get me? See, that's what I'm looking for, some action, run away. It's dark, is it morning or is it night? Like, I can't even tell. Thorny dragon. Okay, he's busy with the morella tops. There's some water down there. Or is it that thorny drink? I don't even know. Everyone's kind of busy with stuff. What you guys got going on here? I love the thorny dragon sounds. They're just so cute. I don't know why. I love everything. I love everything on these maps. I love all, almost all the dinosaurs. Almost not all of them. Some of them are, them are super annoying. Like those birds that steal stuff from you. Oh my gosh. Okay, this place is super laggy. Sorry about that. I can't even figure out how to get down. Oh, oh. Scorpion. We can go down here. Let's see if we can just get directly to water. Find water in the desert, you're good to go. Oh, oh, what's going on? The thorny dragon. Okay, so this place is a little... Dangerous. Might I add? Oh, we got water! Yay! Now, if we were to build, that is the question. So, if you guys see, see this little spiky dude? I wonder. Yeah, see this guy right here? Behind the carnal? He is a Volanosaur. So, he, he'll shoot needles at you, kind of like the Thorny Dragon, but better. And it's like a. Tourette almost. Everywhere we turn, there's something dangerous. I know we're just gonna get our faces eaten off. So I'm gonna go. We found water, but we haven't found a place to build. I don't know if we'd really want to build over here. I would stick to the sunken forest. Oh. Look at how cute they are. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> I can't even. I just want to pet you. I think you're too cute not to love. You're too cute not to love. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Let's try the desert heat. Just want one of those. So bad. Okay. Well, we look like we're in a little bit of a better area now. Buy some moss and a morella top. That's great. Morella tops. There's a Volanosaur over there. An Inky. Should keep us safe. Some horsies. Look at that. And we're right beside the water. Like, this looks like a decent place. Maybe not with the water. Guys, guys, I can't drink this water. What is going on there? 
What is this glory? Dunk myself? Did I get water there? I didn't even know. Take attention. Try again when we're thirsty. This would be a nice place to build because, like, I don't see anything dangerous. Where are we on the map? Hold on. You know, 8080? That makes sense? I'm really good at reading maps. Good. Or you saw it on the map and you can find it. Got this cute little. What is this? Yeah. Okay, so this would be a win in my book. Because there's not much around that could hurt us. So, 100% win. Not much that could kill us either. So, let's go and to the next spawn spot. We are now on our last desert. Desert cell. There are a lot of spawn spots, but they can't... Oh, what the... What was that? What? In the world? What's that? Is that an olo? Olo. No. Some wrong button. I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh, shock. Okay, so the last thing I have to tell you about this map is some new item structures and resources. So the infamous taxidermy tool and bases are new to um, extinction. So that's super cool because then you can get the dermis of the animal you like and you can make a cute little museum, which is fun. The dino leash is new. Um, I'm pretty sure you can't get close to those guys or they're going to get you bugs. I don't want to be chased by bugs right now. Um, you also have unassemb unassembled tech mech, the enforcers, um, and those are like, if you kill one of them, they'll like drop where you have to go into their inventory and you can get actual, um, blueprints to build the little tech guys that we saw wandering around in the city, which is super cool. You have the tech bridge, um, and then some new, uh, resources are um, red and blue sap, crystallized sap, the dermis, of course, which we talked about, gacha crystals, and snow owl patch pellets. Here we go, found some laundry, guys. Are we in safe area? Now, the only reason why I mentioned the snow owl pellets is because that is like prime feeding material for your gacha. So make sure you got yourself some snow owls um, when you are trying to get yourself some gachas you can tame them with it and as well as feed them with it when you have them and they'll give you some pretty cool stuff and then some other resources that you might need are um corrupted nodules and hearts which will um i'm pretty sure you have to use for the bosses so i thought i'd mention that when you kill corrupted creatures to get that this is a decent place too wait do we see anything can you guys not for Please. Was this? This what I think it is. Out of it? No. Okay. So we're gonna stay here for a second. I'm gonna show you the map. We're kind of in the middle, like 75, 80. Here we go! <laughs> oh, that's so fun. We. Oh, I just had to do it. There's like these little geyser things that you can get uh, stand on and they like blow you into the air. It's so much fun with a flyer too. And we killed ourselves. That's all I was waiting for. <laughs> They're so much fun. My goodness. Okay, so we're on our last three. Let's see if we can get through these. We'll probably die quick anyways. It's snow. We're going to go up to the snow north. Freezing. Are we okay? Oh, a snow owl. Did you guys see that already? Right off the bat. My love. My one true love. And we're freezing. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, how I miss my snow owl. Okay, there's lots of bad stuff around. Snow owl, mammoth, or fighting saber tooth. Let's go this way. So, of course, finding a place to build in the snow is probably like the hardest thing you can do and when you're freezing too that's not fun either 
So if you're not getting killed by wolves and wolves. Oh my gosh. Oh, I ran out of steam. Or was I injured? I don't even know. Just looking at all this stuff. Hey, not very quick over here. Snow East is where we're going to go to next. Let's see. This place is super unforgiving. Like, if you're crazy, yeah, go spawn in the snow. Why not? We're already freezing. Oh, and see those red lights over there? So if you go into them, you can actually die because, like, this map um, has, like, a barrier. And it's, like, keeps you... Oh, it's a mana. Keeps you inside. Look at him. Oh, does he... Did he already spot us? Oh, oh my god. Oh, my god. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that scared me. That little bugger. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. So now let's go to the snow south. He like that those guys are crazy little buggers. Like I can't even handle it. I knew it. I knew there was no way we were gonna last in here for any length of time. Okay, so like You'd have to, like, actually act like you're, you know, wanting to survive. Oh, hi, Moose. Protect you for as long as I can, which won't be very long. You are so beautiful. Yeah, you know it. You hear him? He's like, I know. So majestic. Let's see. Okay, well, you got water. Got some trees. You'd have to be quick to level yourself up to keep warm. Like, you'd have to get, like, everything just to keep yourself safe. Some wolves over there. Aren't they checking the maggot? Mag that thing. Get on. Like, it's not safe to build, but you could build here, I guess. You'd have to get up somewhere. Build. Maybe a little bit higher. Oh, yeah. That smooth move? Yeah. 100% me. This isn't so bad. Okay, look, we're surviving longer than I thought we would. Every time. It's like leg central. Oh, my God. Everything's after us. Okay, well, you know. I killed myself. How? How? Do you guys see this? Well guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode and that is all the spawn locations of extinction, including some little tips of what's going on on this map too. So I hope you enjoyed what I provided for you today. Feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you have any comments about where you like to spawn on extinction or where you like to build, let me know and I'll be sure to go check out those spots and see if I can go and survive on them myself. And I hope you enjoyed everything else and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye for now!